Hi all, I have a totally out of this world game to show you today. So this is the latest Stockfish 10 against Leela ID 31676. So quite a recent network on the seemingly very, very positively improving Test 30 network. So if you if you're not in the know, the Test 20 had 100 million games fed to it, but it didn't do very well. It had to be abandoned, actually. Uh, but sometimes, you know, these experiments, they give great insights for what not to do as well as what to do. So uh, so this is the time control of 40 moves per two minutes with a two second increment per move provided by David Grosvenor. Knight F3, uh, this is the opening book given. It's actually Grunfield Defense Territory with Leela playing the Grunfield side. So Bishop G7, end of book. Now we have Queen A4 check. This is a bit on the greedy side. Usually in a human-like live book, chess-based live book, Knight C3 and just accepting this kind of start position, well-known start position in the Grunfield. Queen A4 check is a bit clingy onto the material. After Bishop D7, there's that weakness of the last move that's been created here that b7 has been abandoned and queen b3 not only hits b7 but reinforces d5 and interrupts black's regaining of the pawn and what does black actually do here if b6 that just looks absolutely horrible after knight c3 and e4 white's just doing really well there Leela actually in this position plays c5 yeah queen takes b7 and now can you guess black to play? What's the idea? Amazing idea. Queen b6 offering a whole rock. But the queen is a bit stranded. Uh, now c takes d4 just casually taking a center pawn off. Knight e5. Uh, it's interesting to consider here knight bd2. Well there's a few things to consider. Uh, but here, say knight c4, queen c7, it seems as though white has the tactical bishop f4 just to gain an escape route on b7. If this queen's not guarding b7, then this might actually be a promising continuation uh, which needs to be investigated. But it didn't happen in the game. It seems knight e5 was the move really tempting. Stockfish 10, black castles. Now knight takes d7. Now, if knight b takes d7, then the escape square is given, the c6 escape square, and that's going to be very good for white. Okay, there's the threat of rook c8 immediately, so white has to be careful, but knight d2 protects the bishop in advance of anything like that. Big advantage to white. So black plays knight f takes d7, so that the c6 square is still controlled by the knight. And we have knight a3. It's interesting in this position, one of the top moves given is f4. You might think this is weird, but the intention is to stop knight e5. Knight, yeah, going to e5, which controls uh, the c6 square. So this is trying to be ruled out. This is a major alternative to what was actually played. Uh, if we look at f4 for a moment as well, it seems queen a6 is a good idea. For example, here d3, and dude, we have a very amusing scenario here, where the queen is one with knight b6. Basically, white has to give back some material to get the queen out, and black still ends up with a vicious vicious position because the king's stranded in the center. Black can regain some material with at least equality, so that's a really fun line there. F4, queen a6 uh, on. Uh, G on G3 just to show the mechanics knight e5 knight bd7 controlling the c6 square with the other knight so hitting the queen this position should be uh, about even a4 as another try just to try and nudge the black queen knight e5 a5 there's queen c5 here and even if this is the fascinating thing it hits uh, the c1 bishop so even if the queen's for the moment got an escape square white has to parry that and now knight bc6 is actually okay even if the queen flees to b7 knight before the king stuck in the center there's other tactics available
queen c4, knight c2 check, winning back material like that with at least an even position. So really fascinating scenario, uh, this queen being trapped. So knight e3 was chosen in this game, knight e5, f4 now, now knight bd7. So not only offering a rook, but also a knight. Queen takes, bishop takes, f takes. Knight takes e5. If only white can coordinate the pieces, white would be technically material up. The two rooks kind of balance the queen. And we have white having three minor pieces to balance these two guys. So it's the question of are these pieces which are mostly on the back row able to coordinate here? Now white plays h3 you might think this is curious but what else is there to do because of the en passant the restriction on the e pawn here uh that can't be moved can it i mean we could look at it e3 just take and if knight b5 bishop h6 black has a big advantage there or king d1 here there's knight g4 that has to be stopped with nasty knight f2 threat for example here queen c7 knight f2 check take the rook so h3 <clears throat> seems a good prophylaxis move in the circumstances h5 king d1 the king's consigned to not castling here bishop g7 b3 and this looks curious because you might think well hold on is stockfish playing with fire <laughs> no stockfish is playing with lena <laughs> okay but isn't the diagonal dangerous what about d3 this is no problem. E takes, knight takes. It's no problem to lose the exchange. White is so far up in material that this scenario would be very, very good for white. The rook and two bishops against queen, very, very good. So it's no point playing d3 here. Lila needs more than that. She actually tries to take out this center pawn. Well, there's nothing really going to defend that center pawn. So rook b1, queen takes bishop d2 so at least there's another pawn now to join the battle white is a pawn down uh, knight d7 and also of course this e pawn can now be pushed through so we have some maneuvering here queen b7 knight e4 the knight on d3 of course protects now against knight f2 uh, bishop e1 e5 rook c1 knight goes back Knight b2 and now queen a6 hitting a2 trying to provoke a4 which would weaken if a4 is played that b file is good for hitting b3 with the queen sometimes knight a4 shielding a2 not committing the a pawn knight f5 bishop f2 uh, on a move like e4 hitting the queen this check is nasty after knight takes f1 check <laughs> it's not very nice so bishop f2 queen drops back rook c2 now bishop h6 very very interesting now this control of this diagonal knight b2 h4 fixing down white white's kind of being paralyzed here knight c4 e4 bishop e1 queen d5 bishop f2 a5 a4 now here if a4 wasn't played because it weakens b3 you might think well you know that's asking for trouble isn't it but say it wasn't played say rook g1 black just plays a4 here and actually there's a, a reveal here a secret reveal that okay first of all if rook h1 takes takes queen b5 anyway so b3 is still weak and black has a big advantage but if b takes this is the other question you might have queen b7 and the queen crashing through to b1 which is a lot more effective with that bishop eyeing c1 here this is nasty this is just plain nasty wow checkmate so uh yeah it seems as though let's just check this again on knight b2 there's bishop e3 say g4 takes bishop takes f2 is nasty yeah it's it's all nasty stuff here so a4 is the move chosen to stop a a4 from black we have king h7 
rook g1 queen c5 and the queen is still heading to hit the b3 pawn now g4 this looks a little bit desperate rook takes black's position is very very good here black could actually in this position cash out just take here and then d3 for example like this queen g1 scooping up material this is just winning for black so it's already really strong queen b4 is saying let me have the b3 pawn so i can play d3 if the rook may moves bishop e1 queen drops back now more pressure on g3 here so stockfish gives up b3 gives up the ghost there and now d3 black is winning even more material now with this nasty pin and here the game ended here black can actually win even more material back with bishop takes d2 in this final position because if here then just taking here and even worse is to take with the other rook because then queen f1 would be check mate okay yeah a really very interesting rook sacrifice in this game i hope you really enjoyed this game video and if you did then please click the top left box which should appear shortly to become a member at chesspile.net you can play against other youtubers you can also check the youtube analysis of this game uh, and other games which have been on youtube recently from the improve menu learn from the master's youtube order okay comments questions donations see the description like share subscribe hit that notification bell all really appreciated thanks very much